And back in 1925, when they begin counting, Texas Tech had only about 900 students. Fast forward nearly 100 years, and the school prepares to open its fall semester with thousands more Red Raiders. This week, the man who's led the school since 2016 sat down with our Jackson Pigeon to talk about the university's undeniable growth and a few other topics. Over 40,000 students are expected to head to Raiderland for the first day of classes. Texas Tech President Dr. Lawrence Skuvenek projecting that includes over 7,000 first-year students. Nearly one-third of our new class is first generation, and about a third are in the top 10% of their high school class. 86% of this year's a new class is in the top half of their class. As, that's a record GPA. So we're able to recruit very qualified students, but at Tech, we've always been about access and opportunity. The big first-year class takes up all on-campus housing. The university says it's offering scholarships to about 30 returning students to live off campus for the semester. We had a shortage of beds. Our class was larger than we anticipated. We definitely do need another dormitory, and our intentions are to move forward and construct another dorm. At this point, we're not 100% certain the location of the dorm, but it'll be somewhere along 19th Street. Skuvenek looks at each new school year as a celebration of growth all made possible through his team's recruitment and retention strategies. We're looking at the demographics in this state, nationwide. We're looking at the capacity of, de of programs and departments on this campus and where we can most strategically invest our resources to meet the needs of those students that may come to Texas Tech. Skuvenek says efforts to attract top students must be purposeful. We have to make sure that we never compromise their experience by the size of our enrollment. And as we try to achieve certain designations, uh, we ne we're never going to forsake our mission that's built around the Red Raider experience. As for what happened in Austin this past session, Tech is receiving $50 million in funding over the next two years, and possibly a piece of the $3 billion Texas University Fund, if approved by voters in November. Some would characterize it as a legacy session for higher education. Skuvenek says the state's support plays a significant role in helping students excel in the classroom and beyond. As we become more focused on how we're going to invest uh, the resources we received in this last session, we'll never lose sight of the fact that we're here fundamentally to educate these students and to provide them an exceptional experience. We've always done that, and that will always be our priority. And coming off of the school's grand centennial celebration, Skuvenek is confident that the best is yet to come for Red Raiders. We celebrate our past, but we want to make sure that we seize the opportunities that are in front of us right now. Jaxie Pigeon, KLBK News.